Today we will be looking at recent chances to temporary skill shortage visa subclass 482 and how it affects you and Australia immigration. I will like you to pay attention as we go through this together. Recent changes to the subclass 482 temporary skill shortage Visa reflect Australia's evolving immigration policies and labour market needs. Here are some key updates. 1. Pathway to Permanent Residency Permanent Residency Pathway A significant change is the expanded pathway to permanent residency for 482 visa holders. Workers in the medium-term stream can now apply for permanent residency through the Employer Nomination Scheme, Subclass 186, after three years of working in Australia, instead of four years. 2. Priority Migration Skilled Occupation List, PMSOL Occupations added or removed the Priority Migration Skilled Occupation List, PMSOL, identifies occupations critical to Australia's COVID-19 recovery. The government has added and occasionally removed occupations from this list, affecting the priority processing of 482 visa applications. 3. Relaxation of Labour Market Testing, LMT LMT exemptions, in certain circumstances, labour market testing requirements have been relaxed or exemptions have been introduced, particularly for employers in regional areas or for occupations listed on the PMSOL. 4. Regional Incentives Incentives for Regional Australia to address labour shortages in regional areas. The government has introduced incentives for employers who sponsor workers to live and work in regional Australia. This includes additional points for skilled migration and extended visa durations. 5. Changes in Visa Duration and Renewal Visa duration adjustments, depending on the stream, short-term, medium-term, or labour agreement, there have been adjustments to the duration for which the visa can be granted. Short-term stream visas may now be granted for up to two years with an option for renewal, whereas medium-term stream visas may be granted for up to four years with a pathway to permanent residency. 6. COVID-19 Concessions Concessions for affected visa holders due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The Australian government introduced concessions for visa holders who were unable to meet the usual visa requirements. This includes temporary changes in working conditions and extended deadlines for meeting certain criteria. 7. Increased focus on Australian workers. Stricter LMT requirements, there has been an increased emphasis on ensuring that Australian workers are given priority. This has led to stricter labour market testing requirements, where employers must demonstrate that they have tried to hire Australian citizens or permanent residents before looking to sponsor overseas workers. 8. Compliance and Monitoring Increased monitoring there has been a rise in compliance checks and monitoring of employers sponsoring 482 visa holders. This ensures that both employers and visa holders adhere to visa conditions, such as paying the required salary and working in the nominated occupation. 9. Changes in Skill Assessment Skill assessment adjustments, 
the criteria and requirements for skill assessments have been modified for certain occupations. This includes changes in the authorities responsible for conducting the assessments and the types of evidence required. These changes aim to align the 482 visa program with Australia's labour market needs, enhance opportunities for permanent residency, and protect the interests of Australian workers. For the latest updates and specific details, it's advisable to consult the official Department of Home Affairs website or seek professional advice from a migration expert.